In this video, we're going to look at how you can get free human models in Blender or any 3D software for that matter. We're gonna look at how you can set them up in your asset browser. So the first step will be to download them. I've put a link in the description to both websites. Uh, this is the first website with three uh, free human assets and these three are very high quality especially this one now the other side has nine free 3d humans and one 4d human but i'm not sure what that one is i haven't downloaded it myself now once you've downloaded them give them a nice folder unpack them uh, so that we can look at how you can set them up in your asset browser to set them up in your asset browser, open up a new blend file where we're going to put these 3D humans in and make sure to put the blend file in a folder where Blender knows assets can be. So I got this folder uh, 3D assets and Blender knows asset can be there because I've set that up in my preferences. In file path, you need to set up a, a path to a folder and then Blender knows, ah, oh, there's assets in that folder. So make sure that you either make a folder and set up a new file path or put your blend file in a folder that, uh, that you've already set up. Once you've done that, we can start importing the models. I've set FBX to my quick favorite. So right click on import FBX and set it to your quick favorite so that you can press Q to import a FBX and go to the file where you have all the models. Some of the models need some more adjustments before you can put them in your asset browser. So I'm gonna go quickly through these so that you don't have to uh, find or mess around with it yourself. Now, uh, first we got the post and rigged people uh, from uh, the one website and these are missing some of the textures. So the normal map uh, will be missing and the roughness map. Now the normal map you can easily uh, put in by duplicating the image input and um, changing the uh, image around for the normal map you can find in the texture folder from the model. Just uh, pick the normal map and put it in the normal map node and set it to non-color and you will be fine. For the roughness, it's a little bit different. So some of the models will miss roughness, not all of them. Uh, but the thing is that it is inverted. So you have a glossy map and that's the opposite of uh, roughness, but inverting it won't fix it. So you have to mess around with the color ramp or uh, in my case, I just didn't use the roughness map. So for one of the models, you have the choice between uh, different levels of, of subdivision. And you can see at the file size that the biggest one is 2.5 gigabytes. I would absolutely suggest getting a subdivision one or you want your computer to crash. So import subdivision one and you will see how long it takes, even though it's the lowest solution. So once it's imported, the model looks good. You can add a decimate modifier to decimate the geometry a bit more. And one thing is not good, that is the hair. Now to fix the hair, go into the material slot and rotate all the hair strands 90 degrees on the Z axis. So you've got to go through the hair strands and rotate them by 90 degrees. If you have the node wrangler add-on enabled, you can just press Ctrl T on the image to get a mapping node and you can change the Z rotation by 90. Now there's one more model that needs a bit of attention. This one where you have to pick between uh, very low or very very low. So just pick the very very low one. It will be good enough. Once you have hidden the armature, you'll see that the hair looks like a hair from a game character. So to fix this, add another uh, image to your shader editor and you can just press A, but I did it like this. Then you can open one image from this guy and that is alpha hair strands. So put that into the alpha and you'll see that it looks a lot better. 
Now to put them into your asset browser, right click and mark it as an asset. Now you can go to your uh, asset browser and see your model uh, appear there and you can put it into different catalogs. If your model looks like a walking uh, normal map, you can change that by uh, clearing it as an asset. Mark it as an asset while your uh, diffuse map is selected. So then you will have the right look. Now to put the character with its skeleton into uh, your asset browser you have to select everything so also the empty so select the character empty and the skeleton then you can press M to merge them into a new collection uh, call it whatever you want and then you can mark the collection as an asset so once you have set them up you can use them in any project I have these models from another video of mine now I can just drag and drop something in and put humans wherever I want and animate them to fit the scene. That was it for this video, I hope it helped you. Now you can start making scenes populated with humans. If you liked the video maybe consider liking and subscribing for more. Thanks for watching and hopefully till next time, bye!